Hi everyone, this is Nataraj. I am back with the other video. Today I am going to talk about that creating the secret in Hatchcock Vault using CLI. So why you use the Hatchcock Vault secret instead of Kubernetes secret object? So keeping the secret secured on Kubernetes is a crucial for every organization. All through that Kubernetes have own mechanism to manage the secret, but it's not up to that security standard due to that the way Kubernetes handling the secrets. The by design, the Kubernetes is saving the secret object in the clusters. It will be very complicated to work with the multiple clusters. One secret are storing in the etcd backend. The problem with this approach is etd does not containing that auditing feature for each secret operations. Secret does not have the mechanism for rotating that secret periodically. So these are the drawbacks of native Kubernetes mechanism for handling the secret object. So you can see here there are four basic aspects that should be implemented to handling the secret object for securely. The first one is that centralized location mechanism. So basically that the secret object are encrypted before being the stored. Also this is a more convenient way to that security management for multiple clusters. So next one is that access control mechanism. So here we are able to implement the access control for that each secret object. Next one is that auditing mechanism. So here we are allowed to monitoring the life cycles for each secret objects. Next one is that rotated mechanism. So here we are allowing the secret to be rotated periodically. So in this case we are limited that secret compromised issues. Installations of Vault CLI. You have to go to that official website of Hatchcops. So to downloading that appropriate operating system versions. In my case, I'm using the Ubuntu. So I choose it with that Linux based binaries. So once you can choose that Linux based binaries, they provide that following commands so that you can copy and uh, executing your base machine so that the package will be installing. Also that a couple of commands you have to execute before uh, interacting with the Hatchcops. You can see here that vault underscore host and vault underscore token the host name you have to mention with your domain name. If you are using that IP address, in this case you can pause with the IP address. In my case, I am using that host name so that I am pausing with the host name. And the vault token is that your root token, you have to provide that one. So if you are Linux based machine means you have to execute the export command. If you are using that Windows based, you have to use that set instead of that export. So these are the list of commands so we will be executing by one by one but you have to make sure about that secret engine before executing these commands. So by default the security engine will be disabled for each secret object. So in this exercise I am going to enable with the key value so that the I am going to enable the key value secret engine. So we will moving to the terminal we can executing the following command one by one. I am at the terminal this particular machine is the external one. I'm going to install the vault CLI. So I'm moving to that my Chrome browser to access that Hatchcob authorized website. So in this website, I can choose with my operating system is Linux. So in my case is a Humundo. So just I copied this entire command. So I'm going back to my CLI. Just I can enter with the paste, enter things. So just I can give that OK button. So right now is downloading that keys and going to executing that one by one. Yeah, now the package is installed. Also, you can uh, ensure about that uh, vault iPhone version command. Yes, it will be showing some uh, v1.12 version. So I now I'm successfully installed that vault CLA command. Then I'm going to executing that enabling the secret engine. So also you can validate from that with the browser itself. I'm at the browser. Even I'm navigated to my Hatchcock website. You can see here this is my domain vault.robo.forming.link. In previous video I showed that how to install that Hatchcock vault through Terraform. Also I provide that token information how to get. So in this video, I am not showing that that information part. So I am directly I am pausing the token information. Just I am pausing my root token. Yeah, now I log in at my vault. You can see a uh, things there is a secret engine is not available. So we have to enable that secret engine only we can create the secret object. So now I am moving back to my terminal. 
right now I am at the terminal I am going to enable the KV secret engine so before we have to execute that export command so those informations I am provided in that github repo so I am going back to my repo so you can see a thing vault underscore address I am providing my domain name vault underscore token I provide my root token just I copied the both command here I am going to execute this command in my terminal now I am going to enable that KV secret engine using the vault secrets enable iPhone path you have to provide then KV so in my case I am using the key value so the KV is that term and you can pause that KV yeah now we have successfully enabled that KV secret engine also you can verify at uh, that secret vault GUI as well now I am back to my browser just I am refreshing the page so it asking the token again so I can pause the token information yeah you can see here the KV secret engine is enabled yeah now I am back to my terminal so now I am going to create that uh, secret object so vault KV put KV slash user and I can pass the username equal to admin and the password equal to uh, test now I created that uh, secret object uh, you can ensure about here as well so every time it is asking that token so just I copied it yeah you can see the thing that user secret object will be there just I'm clicking the user also you can view the value so just I enable whatever the provided the username is admin and the password is test is visible here also you can validate with the CLA as well uh, you can use that vault kv get command kv slash the name of the secret object just I provide the user yeah you can see here also the data will be visible now I am going to delete the secret so vault kv delete kv slash user is our secret name just I enter it yeah now I am deleted that uh, my secret data also you can disable the secret engine uh, you can use with vault secrets uh, and then disable kv oh sorry typo mistake now, now I disable that kv secret engine uh, so also you can uh, verify it with that following commands vaults secrets and a list yeah you can see a thing the kv engine is not available so hi hopefully this video will be useful to everyone thanks for watching bye